Hi everybody, Colleen here from Feel Great Reflexology and Massage Cupping. Today I'm going to be doing some massage cupping on my elbow. And I'm going to show you what I do when I have a sore elbow and how I make sure I relieve air, the pain in the areas of the arm and the actual elbow itself. So I usually start off with a cup that is my lymphatic drainage cup. It's a silicone cup and I just stroke or slide the cup slide the cup up my arm and that allows me to open up any tissue, any myofascia um, and relieve any muscle restrictions that I may have and I do it in the upper as well as the lower arm as you saw before and I make sure I also cut my triceps and the reason I do that is because I want to make sure that Anything that is close to the area that's having pain or further away from the area that's having pain is loosened up and ready um, to uh, receive any treatment and to receive care because those muscles might be the cause of why my elbow is hurting. So better to treat anything around the surrounding pain points. So now I'm going to put a cup just on the side of my elbow. I'm going to put it right on my elbow and I'm going to put it on the medial side of my elbow and I will even get adventurous enough. Oh, you might hear my cup squeak and make some noise. Okay, to put some even higher and lower. Warning, the triceps are usually quite tight so you've got to be mindful about how you place a cup around the area of the tricep. And you'll notice that all of my colorful cups are supporting the elbow. And I might even put another little one right here. And they're really helping to expand and decompress and open up the tissue around the elbow. And I might leave this on for about five to 10 minutes and just let it sit and let it bring some blood, bring some oxygen to the area to help to rejuvenate and restore the area and to help to do a little bit of a stretch in the area that was feeling some tightness. Now, once I finish, um, I take the cups off, but in some cases I might mobilize the joint, which means I might move the joint. So I might bend my elbow just a little bit. And the reason I do that is because I really wanna help stretch the tendons and the muscles and the ligaments in the elbow. And I really wanna um, allow it to have the benefit of joint mobilization with the cups on. It's tight. Don't let my smile fool you. I'm accustomed to cupping. If you're not, you might notice the tightness. So what I do is I always make sure that I ask folks, how are you feeling on a scale of one to 10? One being low in terms of pain and 10 being high in terms of pain. I will ask them, how do you feel? Is it a one? Is it a five? Is it a 10? And they are able to let me know how they feel when I place the cups on, when I'm gliding the cups, and when I'm doing joint mobilization. So if you've got a client that you're doing any cupping on, it's a great tip to, um, to do. And um, I think I'm gonna take the cups off now. Do you think I'll have any red marks? I don't know, I might. I know I usually have tightness in my triceps, and it's been a short period of time, less than five minutes, but I'm gonna give it a go and take them off. You might see some round circular um, marks. That's just from the suctioning of the cups. Ooh. Now let's see what the tricep look like. Okay, we've already got a little bit of redness here. Sometimes you'll see redness that's just the blood that's come up recently to the area from the suctioning, um, and it'll go away in like a minute or so, but I have a feeling this you know, gentle red circle um, will stay there for maybe you know an hour or two and it'll go away. If I did have it on longer, I have a feeling it would probably stay there for about two days. Um, cupping marks usually go away within two days to two weeks. It depends on what you're detoxifying in the body and um, how much toxins or stagnation um, or scar tissue that the body is trying to clear out. So um, that determines how long the marks will stay there. Anyways, that was just a little bit of cupping on my elbow for you to see, and I hope you liked it. I hope you um, were able to understand cupping a little bit more and some of the techniques that we use, and um, 
I hope you'll ask me some questions. If you do, please comment below, um, ask away, and I'll definitely respond back to you. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.